Hey, we're back with another product review sample video. We had tried some Frank hot sauce uh, in a previous video. You can check that out. And this video, we're going to try this. Came across this in Costco. It's pretty big. Um, it's a powder. It's Frank's Red Hot Original Seasoning. And it's made with cayenne peppers. And it says it's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. How does it look to you? I don't know. I'll reserve judgment until we try it. We'll see. When we looked at the ingredients on the back, I think was it salt, the first one the off the top? The first ingredient is salt. Cayenne pepper sauce, a dry, so cayenne pepper sauce, so dry, a dehydrated blend, a dehydrated blend of Frank's Red Hot Cayenne Pepper Sauce, aged cayenne red peppers, so it has some parentheses, aged cayenne red peppers, vinegar, salt, garlic powder, maltodextrin, natural flavor, silicon dioxide, spice, garlic powder, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, those are the main ingredients. And uh, I've tried this already on popcorn and I thought this would make a fun or interesting review because I thought, you know, maybe this would be a good season on popcorn because it's spicy. Yeah. And uh, there, it, there, so in one quarter of a teaspoon, there it is 290 milligrams of sodium. Oh my goodness, when I read that I was thinking a, a cup for some reason, which makes no sense, but one quarter of a teaspoon, like it's 12% of the, the daily intake. Yeah, and that 12% daily intake is based yeah. on around 24, 2500 milligrams. Yeah, which is a lot. Which I think is actually yeah. supposed to be more like 1500 milligrams. Yeah. They haven't really updated that since, uh, I don't know, in the last few years, but I don't think it's supposed to be that high anymore. Regardless, I love salty food. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love potato chips. I shouldn't eat that stuff very much, and I have cut back on it a lot, and that's why I'm eating more popcorn. So I thought this might be worth giving yeah. it a try. Yeah. And I'm willing to concede for the salt, to, for the, you know, the, you know, if it tastes good. But anyways, it, I found it a little salty. We'll, we'll try it here in a sec. So we um, have some... Yeah, okay. So we have this? some popcorn here and I made up some, we fried up some french fries and so I got those here, these guys here and it's pretty orange. It looks nothing like the container. No, the container makes it look, there's some dark, it just looks a little bit more interesting. Yeah, it looks really, oh, it's the perfect yeah. blend of yeah. flavor and heat, but mm -hmm. it doesn't look anything like that. Yeah. So, uh, we want to try French fries first before like they get to cold. Fries, yeah. Okay, so we we loaded a bunch on. Yeah. Because it should be spicy. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yeah. Mm. It has a bit of heat. It has a little bit of heat, but for me, I just don't like the taste of it. It certainly doesn't taste very spicy. No. It's not. It has a little bit though. Right? But man, it's salty. It's salty, but then there's this aftertaste. Yeah. And then I taste it. It's not for me. I'm not a big Frank's person anyway, but the, the original is okay for me with Frank. That's an okay taste. But that, you can kind of taste the Frank's in it, yeah, but they did not mix stuff. To it. <laughs> for me, it's too salty. Yeah. I don't want to give something a negative no. negative comment just for the no. sake of giving it. In. No. But this one in particular was salty, and then on the popcorn. Okay, so that didn't add anything for the actual to the actual potato um, French French fries. fries. No. And this, I think you tried it. We tried it, and you thought, okay, maybe we're not being fair. Maybe we should try it on actual exactly. food that they actually showed yeah. on the outside of the container. Yeah. Now, maybe this will taste different on yeah. meat. I haven't tried it on meat yet mm. to be. To be fair, it's full yeah. disclosure. Yeah. But hey, I'm doing what they showed on the big on the front of the container. Yeah, and it's like me. It's like it's pretty salty. Not that French fries from no. fast food aren't salty. No. But they're flavor. They have flavor that you like, but not this one. Okay, so you wanna try So we'll try the popcorn. And this So this popcorn, it doesn't have any butter on it, right? No. But you put a little bit of oil. I just put a little bit of canola oil on it yeah. just so that stuff will like flavoring will stick to it so it's a very neutral tasting one so that's not imparting any flavor to this but I can tell you for me to get any 
type of heat on this, or flavor even, you had to add a ton. So the ratio they have with this between the salt and the hot is completely <laughs> off. Too. It tastes, all I taste is yeah. salt. Yeah, and that's all I taste too. Right? Yeah. And I know you're not big on to this, yeah. but I thought it'd be fun to try. Yeah. And that is, that is definitely not getting consumed. If you want to buy something that's salty, and I don't know why you just, just wouldn't put salt on it, but it's something really salty with a, a bit of heat to it. With a little bit of heat. Yeah. Maybe get some cayenne pepper yeah. powder and yeah. mix some salt in it, yeah. and that's what you got. Yeah. There's a hint of vinegar, because again, yeah. it's it's uh, the cayenne sauce, mm -hmm. their, Frank's original, mm -hmm. does have vinegar and cayenne mm -hmm. pepper together, and that's what yeah. gives it that really nice taste. But it's not salty like this. No. This is, no. so anyways. Oh well, we got a lot of, <laughs> big container to go through. Well, it's Costco. I can always return it. That's right. But it wasn't that expensive anyway. Yeah. I think this might have been like four bucks, maybe five dollars yeah. at the most. It wasn't like really expensive at all. Yeah. So, um, anyways. So maybe not, not so much for us. No, not for us. <laughs> this, this one, we're giving it a pass. All right. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. Bye for now.